Glenn Parker High Vibration Foundation. Thank you very much for joining me. Coaching life, business, and spiritual. Also retreats, boys and girls. As well as e-commerce education and website, including WordPress development. Thank you very much for joining me. I wanted to give a little bit of a tip and some advice if you're searching for a used car because this is a very interesting and particular market depending on the price ranges. I'm on the lower end at this point in time and the evaluations that people size up to what their car is worth, sometimes you have to smack them and give them a little wake up call and go, dude, where did you find? How did you derive that price? It's like, I'm like, you need to look that up because I did and it's no. So people negotiating, um, setting up a couple of vehicles to get inspected. A couple of people were nice to be willing to come and see me instead of having to organize the universe to go and see them. I like a motivated seller, somebody who wants to get out of their vehicle for whatever reason. I've stayed in this hotel before and that the view from this out is pretty awesome of the valley. So, when you're shopping, definitely get like a Carfax or an Edmunds or something so you can look up um, a limited amount of VINs and licenses that save you a ton of money to get the unlimited one. Uh, there's a couple other ones that were, I got Carfax, so you can do unlimited amount of plates, but not VIN numbers. So, uh, and it was really kind of deceptive when I, when I read it, because I Glenn reads pretty thoroughly. And, you know, I'm, I, I go back and I'm like, oh, shenanigans. And uh, so I wasn't really happy about that. But it has proven, and the dealers are using Carfax as well. They had Carfax reports on some of the used ones I looked at last time I went shopping. It really does behoove you to go and do a, a monumental amount of test driving. I was going to get a Nissan Versa with $1,000 down, and the financing fell through. They were picky about something in the way of what they say is income. And... The, the lower car classes are much different. And I went out and test drove different makes and models like Honda Civic, Honda Accord, and got in tons of different ones. And there's some that the way the headrests are in the back for a one-eyed man, you know, I'm like, dude, I can't see out the back window. That's bad juju for all involved. You don't want me behind a wheel where Glenn can't see out at a glance when you only can see out of one eye. You have to like shift over and make very fast tracks to know where you are in space and time in relation to everybody else. And vision is a must, so no tinting, no like uh, no obstructions. And there's only a f like it ended up after all my test driving and, and messing about that it was this is a cool shot, um, almost Victorian. It was down to a couple vehicles, and it was an interesting process of wrangling people. And some there was one person that was like. Uh, I've, and even the Carfax said he was the original owner, was like X amount of years old, it was older, and uh, I'm like, oh, I'd like to come and see that, I was like, and if I and take a test drive, if I like it, I'd like to bring it to like a Pet Boys or something for 20 bu 25 bucks to get a vehicle inspection to make sure there's no surprises for anyone, particularly me. And uh, he's like, no, but you can bring a mechanic. I'm like, well, that's useless. I mean, they're taking it for 30, 45 minutes, and they're taking that bastard apart and looking for shit, and they're being paid to do that. and. It's a negotiation point. Like if you find, let's say it's a $3,000 car and there's like $300 worth of bric-a-brac that needs to be changed out, whatever that bric-a-brac happens to be, you're at Pet Boys and, and somebody's handing you this bill. You can hand it to the owner go, you either want to fix that, I'll give you your price, or you take that off the price so that I can have it fixed. So it is a fantastic negotiation point to be able to take a vehicle in and then you're not getting any surprises and then the Carfax and, or like item gives you whether it's a salvage title or how many accidents it's had whether the airbag's been deployed those types of cool things and you know you don't want ideally if you can help it um, to get a car that actually has ever been in an accident if it if it is at all possible in these older vehicles that becomes greatly difficult but I'd say shop and get into as many cars as humanly possible. I, I, I must have get into like a dozen different makes and models on like five or six car lots. And at the end of the day, it was on like these self-financed car lots. So they'll finance the whole thing at 21%, which was still cheaper 
than what the dealer was offering through a commercial company at twenty four nine nine because I didn't have much in the way of a credit history starting over. And I'm like, that's fine, but you know, you're being picky about the income type. So instead of getting a Nissan Versa, which had just pretty much the, the second best, bis, best visibility out of all the cars I test drove, but it comes down to like the Honda Civic four door, maybe a Corolla or a Accord, depending on year, because they've actually changed and the, on the sub model, like an EX or DX or whatever LX, you know, whatever X is on there they the seat backs are in a certain place or can or cannot be removed so in some of the years or the in less expensive models the seat backs can't be removed you can't take them out i'm just going to take them out of the back seat and put them in the trunk because that's the only thing that's really in the way of my vision everything else is perfect to see out the back window and have a really good point of view with the side mirrors and all these things are you know, going on at the same time and so I'm, I'm shopping and I'm shopping and I'm shopping and I'm pulling out seat backs and I'm like, yeah, and I get back in. And I, so this is like, where's my ass out? And um, it was a particularly hot day. So it took me like, it, it, it kicked my ass that last night. I was like, I had a shower and I'm, I'm sitting there trying to get some work done. I'm like, uh, it hurts. <laughs> and uh, a little too much heat during the peak part. I was out like all day and then at the peak part of the day out and a used car lot and looking and sitting in the older cars and talking to them and again they'll finance it for 25% um, at the dealer through a commercial company to get like a Nissan Versa or anything within that class and or a lot of these other car lots like the uh, the other car I really liked was uh, from Toyota is the Sion it's by Toyota it's i4 I think it was so I'm gonna find that thing for notifications I guarantee it um, I don't turn my phone off anymore, so it, this one's so badass that it just it records everything. And let me also add that this, these devices nowadays are freaking tricorders because the things that I can do on my phone to manipulate the, my financial and any other part of my universe, social media, everything, email, I can, I, I, this is a little laptop that is just has like a visual interface with a touch screen on it. And as far as I'm concerned at this given moment in time, that this little bad boy can do almost anything is just limitations physically um, how you interact with the device if it was like like more spatially interactive maybe with your hand or something where you didn't need to touch anything you could probably get into like a 3d environment where you could do a lot more things so this process of buying a car you're you're basically going over all these different prices all these different makes and models and me it's all about the vision can daddy see out the back and or line up between the two mirrors because there's one like the Corolla was uh, th there's a distortion between the two and it's really weird when you're looking between the two there's like something missing and like ah no got to be able to see everywhere all in one thing and the Versa and the the i4 were the two best ones but it comes down to the Honda Accords um, Honda Civics the four doors the midsize anything midsize and I had a shitload of paperwork that I, that I don't have with me now but it has like all the makes and models every make and model and blah blah blah. And I was just, you know, going through and trying out as many in those subcompact and mid-sized classes as I could. And I wore my ass out and uh, <laughs> ended up having to take a siesta for like half a day. I was like, ah, it hurts. So I slept like kind of like a baby that night, but it's been a little rough like the last couple of days. But things are evening back out. So a couple of people are willing to bring cars for me to see sometime this week that are in that same price genre. Now, responsible owners like that that are willing to come to you and don't want to hassle you say, hey, I'm in between cars and I just, I want to see your genuine interest. Um, they sent pictures and blah, 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 and everything looks good. It's like, hey, I want to see it. And would you mind going to Pet Boys afterward and having a vehicle inspection done, you know, full point inspection on every single mechanical part on your car? And, you know, there's some that go, bah, humbug. Well, either you're retarded or you, and you've never had any given part of a sales process or you have something to hide. Either one, you know, you rule yourself out either through stupidity or through some financial fumbling where there is an issue with the car and you just uh, don't have the integrity to say so. Check those people off your list right away and don't even mess with them because they don't have the integrity to make good transactions. People that are willing to come to you and work with you on price, like these other people I saw, they bounced back a price that was substantially different to the one that I said, yo, 
this is way overpriced and you just be crazy talk. Um, he's just having crazy talk here because this is, he's a, well, establish a price. I'm like, well, you establish a price and give it to me because I, I, I already kind of know where it should be. And they were pretty close. But it needs a lot of cosmetic stuff. So mechanically, low mileage is nice and sound, but it, it would need some TLC, like there's tape all over the visor and whatnot. I'm like, ah. So, you know, do I want to go and have the responsibility of doing that or do I want to buy one that's already done? I want to buy one that's already done for the time, you know, and effort for what it takes to get those ready to go. So that's been the process, and this is Las Vegas. There's always homies. You know, I think there's the last count, this was uh, several years ago, it was 40 million people that spend an average of $400, uh, $500 a piece come to Vegas within a, a physical year, like, you know, 365 days. Holy shit, that's a lot of money, and that's why our property taxes are pretty much next to nothing, and there's no state taxes on personal income. They're like, oh, those people just paid your taxes, so don't worry about it, and just give us a small token to keep things running, but we get enough money from all those homies that come and drop off their cash to the casinos to keep things running, and they constantly are working on the roads, boys and girls. It's crazy out there. You go out, there's, there's a road somewhere being worked on, and there's one by us being worked on, because it's constantly expanding, and they're, they're shifting things around and changing the, like the timing cycles for the lights and, and putting in new this and new that. And you're constantly analyzing because they want your ass to get to the casino as expediently as possible. There was an occasion when we first came out in 20, late 2014 when one of the major highways was washed out of a pretty decent section between two interchanges, uh, between two e exit and entry points. And that bad boy was working in two weeks. It wasn't done. But it was functional within two weeks. I'm like, damn, they're not playing around. It was like, we're bringing homies from wherever you want to get this done. This is getting done. So they definitely spend their money wisely on infrastructure. So that's basically shopping for a car and the weird logistics of Las Vegas. Um, <laughs> I'd say, you know, definitely, and the Carfax, you know, on some, a lot of the cars, it would bring up a uh, evaluation, tell you private party sale, or, re, you know, if you buy it at a retail lot, because like the retail lots I went to, it went like five or 6,000, and they would finance it at 21%, and then they just went like 500 down or something like that, and they, they don't even check your credit, they just finance you, here, have a car, and if you don't pay it, you know, we'll come and take it, it's just that simple, and, uh, <laughs> Those, um, you know, I could have got something like that for like $3,000 or something like 3200 3500 maybe. And, you know, it's like, it, there's like a, a good, the used cars dealers are making like 20 something percent. They're doing pretty good, at least, you know, even more on the ones that I was looking at. It's because they're willing to take a risk and finance pretty much anyone that can show an ID. And uh, that's a weird part of Vegas too, because, you know, lots of people sell their trinkets and they get car loans, they get title loans. I guess your title. So if you own your title, you can get a loan against your car no matter what, how old it is. That bastard drives up there, then they're going to give you something as a title loan in lieu of your car. So if you can't pay it back, you the homies take your car. So there's tons of stuff for used car lots. There's all kinds of little used cars out there that people that dreams didn't quite make it, which is actually quite sad. But that is what they wanted to experience in this lifetime since you are an immortal being in a timeless reality who chooses what they experience on a higher level to have a, to have just that experience and to play a great game with a whole bunch of your friends. Because as an immortal being, it would be impossible to have any of the experiences you've had up to now and know that everyone else is an aspect of you and also an immortal being making a projection that protrudes into this thing called space and time. And we're all here together to have this unique lifetime of waking up and uh, which is quite unique in all space and time, most highly focused place in space and time. And if any of that interests you, check down the, the below in the descriptions and if there's something in there that you like, then follow the link, find the energy of the link. You know, don't use your head, use your heart and find the one that feels the most exciting to you and you'll find the information that you need, whatever that happens to be. And that is the way it works and what Napoleon Hill was talking about as far as the mastermind theory, where you bring two or more people together focused on the same things, we're immortal beings in a timeless reality. You put your focus on something, it's like you're magnetizing yourself to that experience and it has no other choice but to obey because you are an immortal being and this is your holodeck and you're having fun. And once you come to that realization that anything is possible, 
it starts to be a lot of fun. And thank all of you that support me and uh, give great encouragement and have been helpful in days past. I hope to see almost all of you <laughs> and or all of you in the days to come. It is time to retreat back inside, even though it's kind of cloudy out today. It'll still be hot outside and, uh, you know, don't let what it looks like on the outside fool you. It can be hot up all in this business, so it hurts Brenda Fly to be out for too long and this stuff is like it always has. I don't care how old I was, I always detested the heat. And uh, it's much better than the heat on the west coast or the east coast where it's high humidity and it just feels like you're in Cancun in the tropics dropped in the middle of a tropical rainforest during the hottest times of the year. It's just crazy out there. And I've worked outside in that. But this is like, you get to have the sense of what it truly means to be like in a dehydrator as a human being. And you go outside at certain times of day here and you just feel the life getting sucked out. You're like, holy shit, this is way too hot and I am not going to survive if I stay out here. <laughs> it's like, it's the opposite of like New York where you can go outside and freeze to death and or get seriously damaged and passed out if you don't adhere to certain guidelines as to when it's too damn cold to go outside. I've had first experience, first hand experience with that. Thank you very much for joining me again um, down below in the description. There's tons of things going on. That glutathione, um, that glutathione whey protein is awesome. Uh, it is, I would say, like colostrum on steroids. If you have had to live off cross colostrum, which I've had, I've lived off of colostrum, flaxseed oil, and like a whey protein from j -Rub. And my body really liked that. I guess it likes the dairy thing. I don't know what the deal is with that, but yay, I love dairy. Uh, sorry for any of you vegans out there, but ugh, I just had me a little bit of dairy for the first time in a couple months, and I was like, oh, better than Homer Simpson. And, um, so do follow like uh, in the links, whatever it is exciting to you to find the thing that you're going to realize in this lifetime. I hope to see some of you uh, this Saturday at the Bashar Seminar here in Las Vegas. I know at least of one or two of you that are coming. Hey, and I will see you there. You know what I look like. I won't be hard to find. <laughs> it's always the guy in the loud shorts and the uh, usually very interesting and artistic types of attire. Thank you very much, and if you do like this video, please do like, subscribe, and share. I am so sleepy, I could just seriously just lay down and take a nap. I had a weird sleep pattern last night. I also wanted to have one more, oh, next video. Ha uh, ha, gotta wait. <laughs>